What's up guys and welcome back to part 2 of our RC Rock Bouncer budget build. All the parts we ordered last time came in, so that's nice. The skid plate came in after about 21 days and the frame uh, even sooner. The, the frame came, came in after about 11 days, so that's nice. Let us get right into it and let me show you the skid plate. So this is it, completely aluminium, aluminium, with removable links, I don't know why, but these are removable. Yeah. Let me take a closer look. Okay, so this is removable and there was no lock type, so I see no reason to remove this. So let us just put some lock type in there. I don't know, this is interesting, so let us look at the frame, that's what we want to see. Ta-da! This is going to be it. I was expecting a bit weaker, but it's really it used good, good steel. Thick enough. The welds aren't perfect, so it's sometimes a bit hastily done, but it was 33 euros. It's a bit dead crooked, I don't know if you can see. Let me... Uh, this goes a little bit more like so, but... For the rest, it looks okay, looks decent. I've already tried to fit the skid plate in between. It was a bit narrow here, as you can see. But I, with a little bit of bending, it fits quite nice. The holes line up, so that's good. <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> Not much for this month, but it's a start. So that's it for this month, that's pretty quick, but we can order the next parts for next month, so let us just do that, because I found a few things quite interesting, let me show you. The last time I showed you this one, but I found a two-speed transmission I want 
in my chassis because it's going to be a rock racer, rock runner. So two speed should be good for crawling and for racing. It's it's more expensive, yes, of course. Um, so it's only only going to be this one for this month and receive a box. It's cheap. Uh, but I really, really would like this one in, in the bouncer. So, we're gonna go for this. It's metal housing, but it has plastic of nylon, I have to say nylon wheels, nylon gears inside, with a, I believe, Delrin spur gear, 60 tooth. Yes, I believe. But, we're gonna go with this one. It's gonna be our order for this month. Let's put it in the basket. I want uh, this one. Can I buy it from here? Move to that. Okay. Yeah. This one. But we have some room for spending so I want tracking it's it's a plus two da, uh, plus two euros for an item of two euros but still it's two euros for shipping <laughs> should be good okay add to cart and uh, the yes this one Let's see this with tracking, yes. Okay, should arrive on time. Add to car. So for this month, 45 euros, 45 and a half euros. Again, within budget, nice. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let's take one more look at the frame before we leave. Because we've got a nice background here. <clears throat> um, I think it's a good size compared to my hand. I weighed it. It's, it's 500, 500 something grams. So that's one pound about one pound but that's good I want some weight not too heavy of course on top but <clears throat> the axles I think the axles are gonna weigh it down you can apply some sheet metal somewhere we'll see so that's it for this month hope you enjoyed it I got really excited when I got the frame in, so I can't wait for all the other parts, but yeah, it's going to take about five, six months, 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 how do you say it, months, before we got a rolling chassis, but I don't care, it's going to be fun, and well, thanks for watching guys, and see you next month.